Hi everyone, my name is Cassidy and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the day in the life of a civil water resource engineer. Alright, so I decided to put together a presentation so you guys didn't have to stare at me the whole time. Alright, a little bit about me. So I attended Maricosta Community College straight out of high school. I then transferred to SDSU where I got my Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Engineering. Right now I am working towards my Professional Engineering License or my GE License. Um, I have so far taken and passed two of the four required exams, and I am working towards being a professional civil water resource engineer. So what exactly is a civil water resource engineer? So we work on supplying water for human use, uh, removing water after human use, and we work towards developing methods for planning and managing water resources. So as you may know, water is a finite or limited resource on Earth. It's really important that we consider things like population growth or climate change, aging infrastructure, all that fun stuff. Um, I look towards providing cost-effective and sustainable water supplies for my clients, all while protecting public health, protecting the environment, and meeting regulatory requirements. I really have a passion for water. I enjoy hydraulics and fluid mechanics, basically anything dealing with the movement of water. Right now I'm working for Corolla Engineers, and this is a dream come true for me because all we do at Corolla is water-related projects. I've been here a little over three years now, including my internship while I was at SDSU. And fun fact, my dad also is a water resource engineer and also works at Corolla, so you can say it runs in the family. So what is a day at work like for me? I do a lot of design drawings and 3D modeling, like the one you see on the slide. I do a lot of meetings, phone calls, corresponding with both clients and engineers of other disciplines. I do technical writing for specifications and reports, uh, cost estimating for projects, and I do a lot of data analysis. So top skills I use while I'm at work. Some skills that I did not learn in school that I'm trying to master now is having good communication, time management, and technical writing. Some skills that I did learn in school is good note-taking, selective reading and reading retention. So when you're handed a 2000 page report, you know which parts to actually read and actually be able to remember what you read. And of course, basic water formulas and constants. Some advice to my younger self, don't be afraid to ask questions. No one's going to think you're stupid if you ask a question and you're paying for your education. Your professor's there to teach, so just don't ever feel like that. Also, procrastination is not your friend. Do not wait until the last minute to do everything because that just makes your life really stressful. And get involved as many clubs and organizations as you can and do it as early as you can because I did this really late in my college career and I wish I had done it sooner. Um, these are some of the organizations I was involved with at SDSU. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to me on FabFems or LinkedIn if you have any questions.